Hello friends. So, in the last video, so we have learned about orthographic projections and all. And now, we are moving to a new topic, which is called isometric projection. So, before going into isometric projection, so consider a cube like this. So, in orthographic projection, when the observer is at infinity, he can see this cube. He only can see the square face in the front of this cube right we know that for a cube there are six different faces and from each view he can see only one face of this cube right that is orthographic projection which means for obtaining the details of a cube we have to observe the object from six different positions so all the six with the help of all that six different views we can obtain the full details of this cube that is orthographic projection. Now, assume this cube is placed on the ground with one of its base edges is on the right side like this. So that uh, this front view can be seen in the VP. Now, assume we know that there is a solid diagonal for a cube. What is a solid diagonal? See, this is one corner and this is another corner. So that uh, this is known as a solid diagonal of that cube. So, now the cube is placed like this and make in the front view we can see it's a uh, in the VP we can see it's a front view and assume that uh, we have to obtain this cube with a solid diagonal perpendicular to VP. We have to obtain the position of the cube with the one of its solid diagonal perpendicular to VP. As the cube is placed on the ground first inclination we have to give to the solid is only about hp right we know that when a solid is placed on hp the first inclination should be with the hp and the second inclination should be with the vp so since the cube is placed on the ground on one of its base edges we and we have to make the solid diagonal perpendicular to vp the only way we can do is first make the solid diagonal parallel to hp how can we make the solid diagonal parallel to hp see this is the solid diagonal this is the solid diagonal and now the solid diagonal is parallel to hp okay so that uh, in that position we can provide that position in the front view and the, with the help of that uh, we obtain the top view also and after that uh, we can give the solid diagonal perpendicular to vp now the solid diagonal became perpendicular to VP. so you can see that uh, in this view you can see this plane you can see this plane and you can see this plane which means you have three faces in a single view which means you can have the details of three different faces of the cube in this particular view this is what is known as isometric projection isometric projection is a pictorial representation of the object so that three different phases of a particular cube can be obtained with the help of an isometric projection. So, how can we obtain the isometric projection? Now, you can see in your screen, a cube is placed on the ground with one of its corner is on the right side. You can have the symbol position and the corresponding front view you can see in your screen right now. Now, select the solid diagonal and that solid diagonal is make the solid diagonal parallel to HP and from that position we can draw the top view now that solid diagonal is made the solid diagonal perpendicular to vp and project in the front view so that now you can obtain the isometric projection of the solid this is the principle of isometric projection right so in isometric projection of a cube the solid diagonal is perpendicular to vp so in your screen uh, we know that uh, for a cube there are six faces and in your screen two opposite faces are represented with the pink two opposite faces are represented with the blue and the two remaining opposite faces are represented with the green and now you can see how that isometric projection is obtained by this transformation okay or by this uh, tilting of the solid so now assume this as a transparent cube assume this as a transparent cube so that we can place any object within the size of this cube into it and if we are able to 
provide the same inclinations uh, that is inclination that is the solid diagonal made parallel to hp and the solid diagonal made parallel to vp so that uh, we can obtain a final shape of this transparent cube and with in that transparent cube we can also see the projection we can also see the solid in it right that is called a isometric projection of a solid so isometric projection of a solid is the projection of a uh, for, for obtaining the isometric projection we can place that object into the transparent cube and make the transparent cube the solid diagonal of the transparent cube perpendicular to vp so that we can obtain the isometric projection of a solid now we can see that in your screen also you can see that in the when the solid diagonal became parallel to hp you can see that the angle of the face inclined with the horizontal is 35 degree 16 minute so in isometric projection the object will be inclined at an inclination of 35 degree 16 minute from the respective planes okay so this is isometric projection now one more point is there now you can see in your uh, screen there is an image uh, that is the final shape of this cube you can see that uh, this face is diminished by a amount from the original square face the square face can be seen as a uh, diamond from that diamond it is diminished as a rhombus as shown in the figure why that diminution diminish why it is diminished that is because of the property of the isometric projection because uh, when that solid is uh, perpendicular became perpendicular to the solid diagonal perpendicular to vp that can appeared as diminished to the original dimension since the cube is placed on one of its coordinates on the base in the top view you can see the cube as a diamond but in the isometric view you can see that the top face as a rhombus why it is happened as the top face ABCD is sloping away from the observer, it appeared as foreshortened. Okay, so the top triangle DPB is foreshortened as DAB, or so changed its shape as DAB. How it has happened? That is a property of isometric projection. The extent of this reduction can be easily found at by drawing a scale which is called isometric scale because for isometric uh, for, for uh, constructing the isometric projection you can see that uh, these uh, edges will be foreshortened and so that for drawing the isometric projection we have to calculate the amount by which each edges is foreshortened so this calculation can be easily done by drawing a scale which is known as isometric scale that is also shown in your screen so from the uh, image you can see that eh, the line or the edge dp is foreshortened as da and from the figure consider the two triangle dpo and dao in the two triangles the side do is same which means dp cos 45 will be equal to da cos, the, cos 30 that will be equal to do because uh, uh, do is the uh, uh, horizontal projection of da as well as the horizontal projection of dp so do is equal to dp cos 45 that is equal to da cos 30 from that calculation we can obtain da by dp the ratio da by dp and it is obtained as a 0.816 the calculation is also shown in the screen which means the isometric axes are reduced in a ratio 81.6 percentage so this property can be used to construct the isometric scale and the isometric scale is constructed as shown in the uh, screen the dp da select the triangle dap we can see that the angle of inclination of da is 30 degree and the angle of inclination of dp is 45 degree so dp is the true length line and da is the isometric length line so from every point of the true length line draw a vertical line to the isometric line so that we can obtain the corresponding isometric line for example if we have to convert a point 3 which is having the true length from 3 draw a vertical line to reach 3 dash in the isometric length so that d 3 dash will be the corresponding isometric length that construction is in the, in the screen and this isometric scale can be drawn in simple form as shown in the figure
where the true length line is marked as dp and the isometric length line marked as da so that any point 3 any point on the true length line can be converted into isometric length by drawing a line parallel to pa so for so if you want to convert d3 through 3 draw a line parallel to the line pa so that the isometric length can be obtained as d3 dash even though it is easy to calculate the isometric length with the help of a calculator so that every dimension can be converted by the, by the help of a calculator by multiplying it with the point 8 and 6 it is customary to show an isometric scale in the isometric projection so even though you are calculating the isometric um, uh, length using the calculator you have to draw an isometric scale near the isometric projection diagram okay so now you have learned what is isometric projection, what is the principle of isometric projection, then what is the isometric scale, how the values from orthography projection are converted to isometric values, right. Now we are going to learn about how the orthographic projections are converted into isometric projections and isometric views. For that we have to learn about an axial system which is known as isometric axial system so we have seen the isometric projection of a cube in the isometric projection of a cube the plane which is parallel to the ground is converted into another plane which is inclined 30 degree and 30 degree with the horizontal as shown in your screen similarly a plane parallel to vp is converted into a plane where one axis is vertical and the another axis is inclined 30 degree and a plane which is a parallel to side plane is also converted into another plane where one axis is vertical and another axis is 30 degree towards left, right. So the conversion of orthographic to isometric, we have to study about isometric axis. Listen, this is a plane which is a parallel to ground or parallel to HP. So a plane which is parallel to HP is commonly in the coordinate geometry, this can be considered as an XY plane, right? So, every X axis in normal coordinate system is converted into isometric X by a line which is inclined at a 30 degree towards right, as shown in your screen right now. Now, this is VP. So, in normal coordinate system, you can see that this is X axis and this is Z axis. So, how can we convert this into uh, isometric projection? We know that the x axis is converted by an inclined line inclined at an angle 30 degree towards right and the vertical axis of the z axis is vertical itself in the isometric scale you can see in the screen now this is a profile plane or side plane in the normal coordinate system you can see that this is y axis and this is z axis so in y axis and z axis the y axis will be inclined at an angle 30 degree towards left and the z axis will be the vertical line itself which means every x axis will converted into will be converted into isometric axis by a line which is inclined 30 degree towards right every y axis will be converted into isometric plane by a line which is inclined at an angle 30 degree towards left and the vertical line or the z axis in the normal coordinate system will be same vertical line in the isometric coordinate system so this is the way of converting or obtaining isometric axis so what we are doing in iso what we are doing for converting orthographic into isometric means uh, we are just converting the orthographic axial system that is a normal x y z axial system into isometric axial system that is uh, isometric x isometric y and uh, isometric z so in isometric x uh, a 30 degree line a line which is inclined 30 degree towards right isometric y means a line which is inclined 30 degree towards left uh, and isometric z is a normal so I hope all of you have understood the things that we have learned through this video. First we have learned what is isometric projection, then we understood the principle of isometric projection, then we learned about isometric uh, scale and now we have learned about the conversion of isometric, conversion of orthographic views into isometric. So once we have the orthographic view of anything say it is a lamina or a solid anything with the help of that orthographic views we can convert the corresponding view into isometric view or isometric projection this is the way 
we are uh, obtaining the isometric projection or isometric view. Now, what is the difference between isometric projection and isometric view? We know that in isometric projection, every dimension is foreshortened to an amount of 81.6 percentage. An isometric drawing can be obtained with the original dimension of the image that is known as isometric view and while drawing the isometric projection we are uh, reducing the entire dimension to 81.6 percentage that is isometric projection. So isometric projection is the one that we are observing in isometric and isometric view is uh, somewhat enlarged. Okay, So the xy plane or the hp is represented as a 30 degree 30 degree line in isometric a 30 degree towards right and a 30 degree towards left a vertical plane is uh, can be represented as a 30 degree and a vertical line and a profile plane can be represented as a vertical line and a 30 degree line towards right which means x the horizontal plane is xy plane vertical plane is x z plane and side plane is y z okay so I hope all of you have understood. So in the next through the next videos, we are going to learn about the, the construction of isometric views and isometric projection for lamina, prisms, pyramids, cylinder, and then we will go to combination of so, okay. So I hope all of you have understood.